Okay, so it's that red light and that red light? If you look over and there's a solid red light and a solid red light, then we're good. And that if that's counting. As long as that's counting and has a red light. 1, 2, 23, 24. Then we're good. I'm short and it's also my view is being a little bit blocked by this stuff over here. What do you mean you're short? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, <laughs> obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today, Maddie's back. Hello. Um, and I am showing Maddie a Christmas movie that I love because of how ridiculous it is. I have never seen this movie. This movie is Krampus. It's a little bit newer than the stuff we usually talk about. It came out in 2015. You will recognize some of the actors. Oh, I don't um, like recognizing actors. Uh, Every movie I see, I want to see only new people. Exactly. <laughs> so, what do you know about Krampus? Uh, I'm familiar with, like, the, the myth of Krampus. Yeah, Krampus is, like, for lack of a better word, anti-Santa. No, anti-Santa is a very different thing, and that's in RuneScape. Okay. I don't know what that means. There's a character in RuneScape named Anti-Santa. Ah. He opposes Christmas because he thinks the false ideals it gives people uh, shackle humanity. And that by destroying Christmas, humanity can truly, <laughs> truly prosper. Also, his head is just a skull. <laughs> okay. Krampus is basically, for those who don't know, basically, there's a legend, I believe it comes originally from Germany, where, like, this big monster called Krampus flies around, but instead of giving out toys, he punishes bad kids. Cold? Um No. Death. Yeah, and so this movie is basically a... I always liken it to Gremlins in tone. It's very, like, goofy, like, horror, if that makes sense. But it's a lot. Again, I know nothing about this movie. Yeah. The original idea for the fir the next uh, in-person thing that I would do was the beginning of a long series of Harry Potter videos where we'd just riff on Harry Potter for two hours. Yeah, but because it's the middle of Christmas season, holiday season, we figured, let's there's, do this. There's a and Christmas then, special in that. There is. There's a little bit in the middle where they're like, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, You've got Harry. Presents, which doesn't, Harry. Which doesn't make any sense because they're wizards. So the fact that they celebrate Christmas has always been a question to me. Hey, why is it the big Jesus thing is the same thing that Harry did? And also Voldemort. Yeah, that's for that's for next month when we do the first Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why do they still celebrate Christmas? Everything Jesus did is something that any one of them could do. I haven't seen this in a while, too, so I remember it, but kind of. I wonder what funny, problematic implications I'll find in this one. Well, let's see. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Now I'm turning it back down, because now it's a little loud. I was gonna- I would say that this is overly dramatic, but have you seen Black Friday? have you ever done Black Friday? No. I haven't either, but I've seen and heard stories. We're starting off on an anti-consumerist note. Let's see if they hold this steady. This could still go either way on being anti-consumerist or them just making a joke about Black Friday. That said, those Walmart security dudes look really happy to be tasing people, so maybe Krampus says ACAB during the opening credits. If we get to the end of this movie where, like, Krampus is based and said ACAB and anti-capitalism in the first ten seconds, that's gonna be a wild ride. I don't remember how this movie ends. A pair of hopper long boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. <sighs> oh, the poor extras. Never seen a fistfight break out at the meeting Santa. No. Let us know if you've ever seen a fist fight break out in front of Santa Claus. I'd love Let to hear that Let us know in the story. comments below. You know what would be a good, um, a good Christmas video idea? What? Bad Hallmark movie bingo. Bad Hallmark movie bingo would be fun. It's best to go in completely blind. Yeah. Right? You get, you get the picture, you get the thumbnail, you don't look at the description or the trailer, you watch the first five minutes, make your bingo cards. He even told the first graders that Santa was just a cheap marketing ploy and then did to sell Pepsi. <laughs> it's Coca-Cola, kind of, but... He was close. Was drop kicking him into the manger really the best way to handle this? Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, it's Adam that Scott. Actor man. He has a name. Adam Scott. I like Adam Scott. But is this a war on Christmas? A war on over political? Is that a subtle dunk on Fox News? Are we still gonna watch Charlie Brown? You know what? After what you pulled, you can do that alone. No family on Christmas. You're grounded. That actor just always looks mean, doesn't he? Wait, Mom, Who? Are we gonna Adam watch Scott? Charlie Brown? Yeah. He walks out. And he's just like. Yeah. I just think he has resting bitch face. 
My sister-in-law has the most nasty bitch face. It doesn't come out often, but when it does, it literally looks like she's scowling. So I'm, I, I, I assume I'm cutting out this dunking of your relative. I mean, I think it's kind of funny to mention that my sister-in-law, it's always a safe assumption that she has never seen any movie or show or read any book that isn't a foreign policy politics book. But she knows a lot about foreign policy. She knows a decent amount about foreign policy, yeah. That's about all she knows. Beth, let me hang this. How did they get the picture without, like, it was framed, but she hadn't seen it yet? No, I think I might just not know because my family never went to see Santa Claus. There's a chance that this is like, everybody's gonna be like, that's how we used to do it. They wrap it for you and it's a big surprise. And in Warngeist von Weihnachten zu glauben. The decision to not have subtitles yeah. for the other language is a really wild creative decision. Yes. I have, I have a tangent. Okay. I have a completely off tangent tangent that you're probably going to end up cutting. Okay. Have you ever heard of the movie Sister Swap? Yes. How much have you heard about Sister Swap? Very little. I just know that it exists. There's two of them. There's two of them. They're not sequels. Okay. They're the same movie. The... Okay. But they're not the same movie. Okay. But they happen at the same time. Okay. Same characters in it? Same actors. Okay. Playing the same characters. And these movies take place during each other in the timeline. Yes. Okay. I only know about it because I saw a post on Twitter, uh, Dan Harmon was losing his mind <laughs> about how much they, they kept almost lining up. So what needs to happen is we need to do a video where we do... One we, then the other? No, both of them at once. <laughs> We're just oh, watching them on two different screens. Your mom popping Xanax again. <laughs> Who among us couldn't do with like a little bit of Xanax? Tonight we're making a Japanese snowflake tree or some crap. I like my plan a lot better. <laughs> my god, weed! It's a weed joke. People have escaped from Alcatraz before and I'm only four blocks away. Yeah, you know how your family's house is just like Alcatraz. <laughs> You know, here I figured that was like the arrival of Krampus and not nope. a train. No, it's the arrival of the other family members. We brought you a little taste of home though, didn't we? Oh wow! Kinda looks good though, maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> the face! Would you ask Santa for this air? Dialysis? I think that's a... F I think that's like a fat shaming joke, but I'm not sure how. It's. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, Dorothy! It's Your sister's no Mother Teresa. <laughs> Wait, how is- I forget- I completely forget how this- how she's related to the rest of them. I don't know whose mother she is. Because they're sisters, but she just called her Dorothy. I think she said Aunt Dorothy. Aunt Dorothy, okay. You don't have to just realize we should check? If I'm in frame... Are you in frame? That is a good ch that is a good thing. Let's check. The blob that ate everyone. Yeah, did you never read Goosebumps as a kid? I probably read a couple of them. Wasn't there another child? Chrissy! Not my kid. Can I just go back to something that she said? She's mad at the other kids for not bringing in the youngest kid, but the kids are right. She should have brought in the kid. A holiday rose is a surprise. Hemorrhoids are a surprise. Hemorrhoids are a surprise. I mean, it is true no one plans for them. <laughs> I do. Oh. <laughs> you think everything I do is a mistake? Maybe everything she does is a mistake. Look out. Oh, oh. Yeah. They left the baby in the car. Wow, that's a decision. Oh, right out of right out of the bottle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's my boy. It sure is. Oh, you never saw The Office, did you? I watched a couple random episodes. He was in the office from time to time. Uh, he was Uncle Earl on Hannah Montana. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. What were you training for? Uh, Army? Eagle Scouts. Toxic masculinity. No, 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 no. It was actually quite a bit of uh, survival training. From both of them, actually. To be fair, the main dad is not thinking straight because he's being bullied and also we all live in a society and a big fat box of buckshot that i keep out in that truck it's not immediately clear if he's also exhibiting toxic masculinity or if he's just engaging in the same terms yeah and who doesn't make a ham at christmas we don't make ham at christmas what are you now a jew oh oh that's an interesting thing did she just yes maybe it's time for dessert 
anti-Semitic character is exhibiting anti-Semitic things. I think we're seeing why Krampus is going to try to kill all of them. Like I think, I think there's a non-zero chance that this movie ends with Krampus killing all of the guests. So far, I hope that he does. Hear what happened to Santa? His sleigh crashed in the Rockies. Shattered both his legs. That was the rejected horror movie that they couldn't get through, so they're like, you know what? It's going to be a story within the story. So to survive, he had to slaughter and eat his reindeer. These other kids are so morbid. They're so awful, yeah. Take your anger out on the crumb brulee. How about we go to your trailer for Christmas next year? Hmm? Oh, the mom is exhibiting classism. Stay the hell out of my kitchen. She actually looks right. Yeah. You know, reindeer are actually a sustainable food source. I thought he said rain is a substantial food source. And I was like, but it's not food. I mean, it'll keep you alive, but you also need food. Dear Santa, I wish me and Beth could hang out like we used to. Oh. I wish my mom and dad could fall in love again. <laughs> Awkward. I wish things weren't so hard for Uncle Howard and Aunt Linda. Oh. Screw you, Dad does not wish we were boys. Hey, Max. I hate Christmas. I hate all of you. And that's going to be what brings Krampus down, is him saying I hate Christmas. I think there's actually more to it. Why do we have to put up with their crap just because we share DNA? Something we've all asked ourselves at one point or another about someone in our family. Yeah. People you try to be friends with, even though you don't have a whole lot in common. <laughs> One pair of pants later. We're trying a different seating arrangement now. Our heights are more level. I'm also larger, so I have the larger chair. Maybe it makes us work a little harder to find what we do have in common. Oh yeah, it was so funny. It had a brief moment of it being like, oh no, it's so sad, he's ripping up his Santa note. And then it was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it was like, oh god. Imagine for a second, if you will, that Santa Claus is not real, because obviously you and I know that Santa is real. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, where, imagine if Santa wasn't real and all the kids were mailing letters to him, what would they do with said letters? Eat them eat them. Krampus eats them for dinner. Because Krampus, of course, is also real. Watch this video with your kids. Don't. I am not appropriate for children. Oh, God. How is that snowman so scary? As soon as the power's back, you can write an angry email to the National Weather Service. You don't have Wi-Fi to write an angry email to the Weather Service? I am calm. I would just be calmer if I knew how we were going to survive Christmas with 12 people stuck in a house with no hot water, no heat, and no electricity. The power and the phones and the water have been cut. And how come rich people get all the free shit? I don't know, honey. Democrats, probably. Democrats, probably. I hate these two. I've texted Derek like nine times and he still hasn't written back. It's the blizzard, honey. Nothing's working right now. Then can I walk over and check on it? It's a blizzard. But when you get back, I want you to spend some girl time with Jordan and Stevie. Got it? So those are both girls. Yes, they are girls. I realized one of them was. Their dad is low-key misgendering them because he wishes they were boys. What a healthy relationship to have with your children. Yes. Ooh, that looks so good. I want to chill with Omi. Omi looks cool. She says hot chocolate makes everything better. You ever been sad and eat chocolate? You're still sad, but you have chocolate, so it's better. Yeah, what a great shot for highlighting the cleanliness of the screen. This monitor was sitting as a third monitor on Spencer's desk. Three monitors? Yes. Well, now he has two because he's lending this one to, to us right now, but yes. I have a laptop and a cell phone, which is weird because I stream more than anybody else. Which you'd think that if anybody would have more than one monitor, it would be me. You'd think you'd have the, the most tech set up. You are the one who streams, at this point, occasionally. I've streamed three times this week. And kept putting out regular videos. And been a menace to society with the shorts that I put out. Is 
the boyfriend dead? Let's take that. Do we think the boyfriend is dead? <laughs> There's our boy. Look at him go. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of our boy. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. You good? <laughs> I wasn't expecting a dead body. Are you? I was. I don't even remember this part, but I absolutely was expecting a dead body. I thought the car was empty, so I was. I had a moment of a surprise. He has hoops. Like Mr. Tumnus, but much less friendly. I don't really think about Chronicles of Narnia very much. I don't either, but when I do, I exclusively almost think about Mr. Tumnus. He spends most of the movie dead, doesn't he? No. Doesn't he spend most of the movie as a statue? Yeah, he is a statue for quite a while, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> sorry if we just spoiled the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe for you. I'm not sorry. Be, it's gonna be your boyfriend's head. It's just that's a tiny box. What is that? Oh, oh, well, she did, did. Still made us getting closer. You no, know, there's more of them. It's like a really dark version of that uh, Campbell's commercial, the really classic one, where like the the snowman comes in. And like gets the soup and like melts ah. into the little boy, which is fucking terrifying when you think about it for more than like two seconds. It's the weirdest thing. There's no cars, no people, not even a salt truck. <laughs> they have my chair. That's my chair. Not quite. No, that's that. That's my chair. Different button pattern, I think. No, it's the same button pattern. That's my chair. <laughs> Don't suppose you got me a backup generator for Christmas, did you? <laughs> it was two and three and two and three! No, this was two, 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 two the whole way down, I thought. Yeah, it's under the tree, next to your ties and underwear. Good. I can't see it. You can't see it? No, the button pattern. I can still see the movie. Oh, I thought you still were like, I can't see the movie. I just went selectively blind. I can see everything except the movie. Your brain is trying to protect you from the trauma. No, this is nothing, but I want- I just finished a video about Santa saving the hostages of war with the help of child soldiers, so my meter is broken. Whack! Do you think your Hummer could get through this mess? Lucinda? That fake baby is a lot smaller than the real baby. The baby has shrunk. He also named his Hummer Lucinda. It's- it's Beth. She went to her boyfriend's earlier and she hasn't come back yet. So they're really surprised when their teenager has befallen some kind of disaster when they let her walk in a blizzard alone. A little recon mission, huh? Thought you'd never ask. Warte, bitte geht nicht. What? Why? I really feel like there's supposed to be subtitles. How are there not subtitles? Warte, bis der Sturm vorüber ist. She says not to go. Oh, I guess we're just context clues from everybody else. Keep out. Mom, bitte, hey, mom, listen. Oma's a superhero. I don't care if I can't understand what she's saying. That's my fault that I apologize for that. <laughs> Global warming my ass. I love people who don't understand what global warming is. What I wouldn't give for a little Bing Crosby right about now. And then they forge the friendship on the bond of Bing Crosby. Do you remember the snowpocalypse? Yeah, I do. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, for something that is not supposed to happen, did. The National Guard is deployed in some areas. In an area called the Sun Belt. We're stranded on the road for six, seven hours. Yeah. For those that don't live in Georgia, the snowpocalypse was the time we had one inch of snow. It was like three inches of snow. It was three inches where I was. It was one inch where I was. And it still shut everything down oh, everything for like shut two down. weeks. People were stranded on the highways for more than a day. That's how shut down everything was. It was like an apocalypse movie. The baby is normal baby and is normal size again. Are you gonna leave the roll of toilet paper in shot? Oh shit, there is this. Yeah, my sinuses are messed up from doing charity stream and eating a bunch of hot sauces, and so... I do. I now pronounce you... This one also makes me sad. I don't recommend that one. Yeah, uh -huh. my stitches! They're so pretty. Hey, Zoe. They are pretty. You know how you like to make that story? We don't have tissues. Yeah, I couldn't find a box of tissues. I think there are some downstairs, but I didn't want to have to go all the way downstairs. You had Mom's angel this whole time? Yeah, I thought you knew. You know my really mean grandmother? Not the 
nice one that lives with us. I mean, I don't know her. But you know about her. One time she sent me an ornament that was my aunt's ornament, and it was a ballerina dancer, and it was very pretty. Now, I am not a ballerina. My aunt is, and her daughters are. But my grandmother, I think, sent this to me... I don't know if, like, they were fighting or whatever, but, like, they sent this to me. Hmm. And I always wondered why. <laughs> no, 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 no! No, Oma! Oma's seen some shit. Oma's just, like, nonchalant about all of this. I need to make an Antifa Incorporated email and just, like, email her, like, thank you for subscribing up for Antifa Incorporated's mailing list. She called me a terrorist for, uh, supporting Black Lives Matter. Your grandmother called you a terrorist? <laughs> Over Facebook messaging. This has nothing to do with the video. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about this more later, but yeah, that's a thing that happened. Oh my god. That poor gingerbread man. Whoever did this is a demented son of a bitch. There's nothing demented about that. What? The gingerbread man with the knife? Did yeah, that's not demented. I mean, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, but like, I'm gonna stab a stuffed animal to the wall. It's like, the least demented, weird stuffed animal thing you can do. Like a I don't wanna know. I meant like, on the scale of like, Yeah. Doing- Creepy horror movies. Yeah. yeah. Obviously like, it being here is less demented. It. It's gonna fall. Those are hooves. What kind of goat walks on its hind legs? Maybe like, the goat is from the circus. It's the murderous circus goat. Yeah, they just look out and it's just a very jovial goat to come to kill them instead. Ah! Kill him! Ah! Get him, Krumpus! Ah! My boy. I probably shouldn't have been so excited at the potential death of that character, but he's really annoying. Tommy? I honestly, for half a second, I thought Angry Face Man was just mercy killing his stepbrother. His brother in law? Yes. Lucinda! Just get a new car. I hear Hondas are nice. That's just a scratch. It's his but a flesh wound. Probably a bear trap under the snow somewhere. We don't have bears here. There's bears pretty much everywhere in America. Like if a bear walked through my backyard, I wouldn't be surprised. I've had a raccoon in my backyard a lot recently. I had a horde of raccoons because my mom was feeding them cat food, so there were like 17 raccoons all at once. How directly was she feeding them? She was putting cat food out in bowls. Um, and they were coming and they were eating the cat food with their little raccoon paws. Mom, will you please go into the kitchen and help with the kids? Almost a badass. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. You broke it. I didn't break it. Marley, he's missing his foot. Oh my god, I love this old lady. I love her so much. She's so much better than your grandmother. I told you we should have gone to my brother's. Sure, Howard Christmas on a pig farm. Jesus was born in a barn. I mean, a farm would be a lot nicer than evil Krampus killing everybody. Yeah. Beth's just with her boyfriend, that's all. And nothing bad's gonna happen on Christmas. Right? I mean, bad stuff happens on Christmas all the time. It is just another day on a calendar. I once killed a man on Christmas. For legal reasons, that's probably a joke. Around about them, and they were so afraid. And they still said unto them. A cursed YouTube kids is this poor kid watching. Where did they get all these boards? I was just gonna ask the same thing. <laughs> the fuck they you know, you have all those boards out in your garage. It's such an eclectic pile of boards, too. I think they were trying to make it look like it was just like rummaged around, but it, now it just looks like they had a collection of boards. I just want to say thanks for, uh, you know, saving my ass back there. See, the movie is anti-toxic masculinity because the the less masculine dad is the one that saved everybody's life. Or I should say toxically masculine. Not that he's not masculine. Yeah. That said, it does seem like the thing that earned uh, the respect of the other one was him, like, doing macho things. Fair. Always been acting different. She always gets a little weird around Christmas. What has happened to Oma in her past? I us should probably stay up and keep watch. You go ahead and catch some winks with your family. A second piece of toxic masculinity. He doesn't consider that the other adults could keep watch. True. It's True. just the two of them. He, bald man, should not be on watch because he is injured. 
He's also not doing a very good job. Yeah, he also does a pretty bad job of being on watch. I'm not sure he can walk. Do you think that dog is gonna die? I don't have a sense of how much this movie is going to escalate yet. I could see it being like, we're not gonna kill the dog, and I could also see it being like, oops, sorry, the dog is gonna get, like, pulled up the chimney. I don't know why. I knew what was about to happen, but something about just the 1% sleeping at... Still not as good as the gag in uh, Us. Uh, she goes, call the police! And it goes, okay, playing fuck the police. And then fuck the police plays really loud while this family gets brutally murdered. I thought that was a tail for half a second. Is it like fishing? For the baby, maybe. Although I don't know what the baby could have possibly done in her short life to piss off Krampus yet. This is the dumbest kid. Yes. Although to be fair, they didn't tell the kids anything. You don't lie to your children. Moral of the story, don't lie to your children. If you do, they will get a hook through part of their arm and get dragged up. Cursed. So cursed. I will say, this is a lot less gory than I expected. Really? Yeah. Kid's dead. I I really expected that hook to... Go through the arm? Yeah. I think they were trying to keep the PG-13 rating. Ah, okay, it's PG-13. I think it's PG-13. It, it gives off PG-13 vibes. I've worked on PG-13 movies where they, they oftentimes film a bunch of alternates because they're like, we don't know how much... Wait, we can only get so much of this in, so we're gonna need to be able to censor some fire. of it. Whoa! Sucker really went up fast. It screamed back at her. <laughs> so far that gingerbread man is like my third favorite character. I think the gingerbread man is my favorite character. <laughs> and the way they killed him was... Is there still a foot in the shoe? Was by luring him with food. We don't have time to dissect that yet. We just gotta keep going. They got her boy. It's on my wallet. I feel like everything about that character has been fat jokes. It is fat phobic, yeah. Yes. Listen. English. I knew it. She could speak English the whole time! I must tell you something. <laughs> I love this woman so much! It started with the wind. On a cold winter night. Why wasn't she speaking English? Everyone else has She's just been like fucking with the people the whole time. I love her. It was almost Christmas. Oh my god, her childhood is in sepia tone. So you know she's old. But I still believed in Santa. We've gone animated. And miracles. Wow, those 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 legs were yeah. buttery. Yeah. It's a choice. But our village had given up. Oh my god, Krampus ate her entire village. They had forgotten the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> she was sitting the whole time. I'm the whole so time. Dying. Oh my god. I tried to help them to believe again. Why rip up the Santa? Yeah, why? I like this like pseudo claymation model though. It looks nice. I do like it. It's a nice it's a nice touch. In the darkness of a howling blizzard, I got my wish. Krampus killed Everybody, including her parents. She always gets a little weird at Christmas time. I knew St. Nicholas was not coming this year. I don't think they called him St. Nicholas in Germany. I thought he was Sinterklaas in Germany. I don't know. Krampus came not to reward, but to punish. On the first day of Christmas, Krampus gave to me. Deep set emotional trauma. On the second day of Christmas, Krampus gave to me two dead parents and a lifetime filled with trauma. But Krampus didn't take me. She still has it. Hey, child, I just killed your parents. I hope you remember that Christmas is important. Here, I thought I was the one losing it. I mean, fair. Yo. You believe this senile horse shit? I don't think you should call somebody senile to their face. I mean, it's reasonable to not believe the supernatural thing. Fair, but they also already saw the supernatural thing. I will say, if something weird bit my leg... You would think it was an then, animal. And then an old lady was like, it is the demon of Christmas. 
I'd be like, no, it was probably just like a rabid raccoon or something. Oh, Tommy! Whoa! Whoa! He threatened to shoot him. They had the doors, th they had the bars that were easy to take off. I was really hoping the door would open the other way too, so it was completely useless. Ooh. Don't open the door. How is she so dirty? Oh, she was in the chimney. She was in the chimney. I was like, how did she get so dirty so fast? They've just been in the house. What are we gonna do now? We keep the fire hot. But dad, the fire's already hot. Keep. He did say keep. Oh, that's less terrifying, but who the- what kind of advent calendar is this? Why are they still doing the advent calendar? Yeah, right? My it's daughter over. has gone missing in this blizzard. My- <laughs> My brother-in-law's child was dragged up the chimney. And I think we're all gonna die. Ooh, but I it's a Hershey's kiss. Ooh, ooh. It's probably Oma. Oma is steady as a rock. That's a good point. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> also, did the brother-in-law just get dragged away? Isn't that what just happened? No. They opened it and they saw the chimneys and the little gremlins running around and they were ah, and they all went back inside. Es geht nicht um das, was du tust. She's back to not speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. What's she saying? She says we're fucked. Because I'm old enough to know when life is coming at you with his pants down. Weird expression, but I like... She said we're fucked. You can speak now, but I just... Context. Context, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the idea that she spent years rehearsing that whole story in English. I like the idea that she fluently speaks English, but just That's is also like... Good. I don't feel like it. I don't know which idea I like more, honestly. I like, I like to imagine, in my mind, she can speak fluent English. She was speaking very fluently. I'd have to go back and check if she responded to any, like, comments. She says we're fucked. <laughs> she definitely did. She definitely could understand what they were saying to her. Because they weren't translating back to her. They were just translating what she was saying to them. It's like a Chewbacca situation. Yeah. When Chewbacca... Uh, hey Chewbacca, how are you feeling today? I think I've posited this question before. Can he- is he- is he just actively choosing not to speak their language? Maybe. My theory for Wookiees has always been, um, it's just like a vocal cord thing. Ah. They definitely seem capable of learning to understand other languages <laughs> other than Wookiee. I drive it back here, then everyone piles in the car and follows while I clear a path in front of us. What a great idea. Yeah, you know, it's always great to split up. In horror movies, the, every time we split up, somebody dies. So let's do it again. I also like that you sped everything up. We're on 1.5 speed now, so we'll have time to stream later. And it really just still seems normal outside of slightly higher pitched dialogue, doesn't it? Yeah, because there's a lot of like dramatic pauses. This is a horror movie. It's a very slow movie. Yeah, because horror movies like they kind of exist in that liminal space of like what's gonna happen. So there's a lot of like pausing. Every movie exists in the space of what's going to happen. Yeah, but like, like, <laughs> you could argue that other genres work off better off of a faster pacing. But horror movies, they're trying to scare you, Beth, you with the uncertainty. Beth, you up there? Baby? Oh my god. Baby! <laughs> she just grabs an axe, she's like, fuck it. I like that in the story, Krampus didn't have minions. Now Krampus does. He's, uh, he's expanded his operation over the years. Good for him, you Yeah, know? our boy's really getting out there. Yeah, we support small business owners. He's really on that grind. Rosie, come here, girl. <laughs> the dog's like, fuck you. I also like that the dog was just like laying there. Hey, yeah, come here. Dog leads. <laughs> dog's like, fuck, no. Stevie? The tomboys are dead. The little girl who liked her boyfriend is probably dead. I don't know his name, and his entire character is, he is the fat kid Lamau. <laughs> so those two are definitely gonna make it. I really want Oma to make it. I'd rather Krampus take me instead of Oma. <laughs> I'm gonna vote Krampus takes Oma rather than Krampus takes you, personally. Thanks. I'm a bigger fan of, like, real world friend than old lady in movie. That's fair, but she is pretty cool. She is good. How has Howard not been taken yet? <laughs> what the fuck? I do remember this part. Did it just eat Howard? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the, the way its mouth opens. We should have gone to my brothers. It feels like a threat from the movie makers to their extended family to not come visit them at the holidays. 
<laughs> I like that theory. That's good. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> evil teddy bear. I love evil teddy bears. I need to get a bigger shelf, but I haven't been able to find one that's like big enough, but not too big. <laughs> I don't care for that shit at all. <laughs> Christ, this is horrifying. Merry Christmas, mother. <laughs> yeah, definitely PG-13. They cut him off from saying motherfucker. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh, one of the tomboys is still alive. Ooh, did you see the green goo? I did. Also PG-13. It's green, so it doesn't count as gore. Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. I love this thing, honestly. And that is the second time they have had a child be dragged through a small- Oh my god, she just, she just yanked that out of- He should be bleeding out! If you get stabbed with something, you're not supposed to yank it out. Are you questioning the logic? Yes. Of Francis? Yes. Mom? I think it's panicking, trying to get outside. How did it get inside? Honey, I just got my ass kicked by a bunch of Christmas cookies, so trust me when I say I can take it! There are certain lines that I just imagine the the actor having to just read and be like, I have to figure out a way to say this convincingly, and that's definitely on the list. Oh no, Rosie! Oh for no, one, the dog! For one, I can't believe that their, their air vents were big enough for their large dog to walk into. I'm not sure how the dog got upstairs to fight the monster. The dog! <laughs> I love the practical looking, like, fucked up bear. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Finish it. With pleasure. Aunt Dorothy, go! <laughs> the poor baby is gonna have so much trauma. She's gonna grow up and be like, Mom, why do I have panic attacks on Christmas Eve every year? Oliver's crazy! Where's the baby? Oh, they're taking the baby. That's fine. She'll be raised as one of their own. That's probably how they recruit. See you in hell! Ah, cat. Hi, cat. <laughs> She's watching the movie. Come here, Perry. Come on, Perry. We need a support kit animal. Aww. It's him. I do like the very jovial Christmas music while people are just like being murdered in a horror movie. Oh yeah. Bobby! Be good. No! Bobby! Bobby! No! No, you are our favorite character. <laughs> she likes you. Oh, yeah, I keep petting her. Yeah. Sacrificing herself for them. Here he comes! Look at our boy! She's got one paw on my, my leg just so that she's not playing favoritism. <laughs> oh, me. No. I liked the old lady. I liked her. I like the implication that she speaks fluent English, just chooses not to. Just to fuck with people. That's awesome. You have to go. I need you to go. No. All of you! Why is he staying behind? Because he was just like, damn it, my mom's gonna sacrifice her life for everybody. I guess I do too. They realized they want the movie to end with two or three people still alive. They ran out of ways to kill people. Well, it's gotta just come down to the kid, right? Because he's like the good person, right? Max, we gotta go! Max! The song choices! Max, you're 10. You can drive this car, right? The snowplow. Here's the boy! Here comes the boy. boy! Hello, boy! Welcome! Here he comes! Now he gets a Krampus spell that he can terrorize his children with. 
got his note. Krampus was like, oh, you hate your family? I got this one. As Christmas spirit dies. I was about to be like, if that's the end of the fucking movie, that's hilarious. I would have respected the movie so much if it just ended like that, honestly. Yeah. This cat really likes me. Yeah. Oh, hell world! Good plan. You think this kid and Kevin McAllister are gonna swap notes about losing their family on Christmas? This is satanic. Yes. They actively throwing them into the fire pit? That's intense. They're actively throwing them one by one directly into hell. Krampus saw the end of Toy Story 3. Take me instead. Aww. I think Krampus also becomes Tim Allen to this movie. No! Damn, that's cold, Krampus. Oh, shit. Huh. You know, I thought this movie was gonna have a whole, like, Krampus lets them live once they accept the values of Christmas theme. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh no, it wasn't a dream, because they're all open. So he was keeping it going the whole time. About time you got up, we've been waiting forever. So none of the characters that needed to learn the lesson, learned the lesson. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Taxidermy. I know, but what was it? <laughs> Nobody that needed to learn the lesson learned the lesson. No. All of the character arcs are undone. I, I can't. Right? I cannot. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> it's gonna be the Krampus bell. Okay, so it wasn't all a dream. That's what it is, Max. Nothing bad's gonna happen on Christmas, right? They all re-remembered. Character arcs back intact. Okay. They get character arcs back. Okay. Except for the people who died immediately. Because they didn't get a character arc, they just died. We have to imagine that the that it's gonna happen to them because they died so quickly. They're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to die again next year. Are they trapped in the snow globe dimension? No, I think he keeps the snow globe for every for every job. Yeah, but they seem to be in it because it zoomed out. Are they trapped inside the snow globe? Is it forever Christmas for them now? Oh shit, maybe it is. What is the implication of the end of this? I have so many questions. I do just want to point out again, the teenage girl didn't really have any major character no. flaws. She was just kind of a teenage girl. She was girl. just a teenager, yeah. She was like, I don't want to spend time with my family on Christmas. I want to go see my boyfriend. Um, well, and then, so, and she then she she was less, so she needed less of a character arc, to be fair. Then she was going to spend time with her family on Christmas anyway. No character arc needed. And then they kind of like, died in the order of, like, the reverse order of who needed the character arc the most. I guess, yeah. She didn't really need one, honestly. She was just like, I'm worried about my boyfriend. I'm gonna go check to see if he's okay. Because then the second kid that died was the one that they kept making jokes about his weight. And, like, he didn't really do anything either. Yeah, he was just kind of there. He was just there. So, yeah, that's Krampus. I really want to know, though. Because everyone remembering it at the end implies it wasn't a dream. But I really want to know, are they trapped in the snow globe dimension? Or is that just like an observation thing? Is that like, where everybody goes when you get taken by Krampus? Yeah, is that you just like- You give them a second chance. It's just like, oh, yeah. now it's Christmas all the time. Yeah, is that just like a memento? Or are they just going to like wake up every day forever and be like, it's Christmas! Yay! Oh. Like Groundhog Day. Yeah! <laughs> But with more presents and less Bill Murray. They're in a groundhog day where every day they wake up. Yay! Oh. Oh. That happened. And then it happens again. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Yay! So yeah, that was that. I love the giant worm. I do too. The worm with the fucked up mask. The movie is so weird because it hits you with some really good designs, like, throughout the movie. Yeah, that was just genuinely good. And then it has the tiny gingerbread men. Yeah, the nail gun. That was great. And it's like, oh, that's goofy, silly thing. It's and very... then it has the worm that eats people. Do you see how I keep saying it's very Gremlins esque? It's like very silly, but like they also know that it's silly. The dog fought the thing in the air. We never saw the dog again. No, we did. He was there. Oh, what? they sh they cut to the dog, and everybody was like, oh. And the dog looked up and was just like, oh, I'm a dog, but I understand. No, isn't that when it right before it went into the air vent? No, at the, I mean, like, at the very end, when he opens up the Krampus bell, like, the dog was there. Yeah, but I mean... 
Oh no, the dog them. died. Yeah, yeah, the dog the dog dog got taken by Krampus right then. What did the dog do to deserve that? If Max hadn't sacrificed himself, would everybody else be trapped in the snow globe dimension but him? I have so many questions. I do too. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna get answers. No, because we have a live stream to get to. We have we have a dinner to get to and then live yeah, stream we have to get to, to, to so we're gonna stream wait, is there an after credit scene? Soundtrack is not bad either. The dog's actual name was Thor. I love that. Beautiful. Oh yeah, okay, no. it was just the ending. Yeah, that was the movie. That was the movie. <laughs> now you've experienced it. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. Remember, my name is Avery. That's Maddie. We're YouTubers if you say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. And you don't have a YouTube channel yet. Technically, I have one. I just haven't posted anything, and I just show up in the comments on the streams that I'm in, usually. Post! <laughs>